as we enter the main foyer here in the main house at Neverland, this was a room where Michael Jackson would greet his closest friends, and it was a room filled with artwork. These walls had huge paintings on them, some depicting Michael Jackson in whimsical or magical situations. He also loved all kinds of art. There were statues everywhere. One of the statues that I was told was located right here was of a butler with a tray with cookies on it, so he would welcome people in that way. At the other end of the foyer, down here there was a huge clock, a two-sided marble clock that was so heavy that workers had to come here to Neverland Ranch and actually reinforce the floor here so that that clock would not fall through to the basement below. Now from the foyer we can take a couple of steps down into the main living room. This was filled with couches and chairs and rugs and in this corner here there was a grand piano on the top of the grand piano, there were dozens of photographs, framed photographs of Michael and his family members and his friends, and, and they would just line the entire top of the piano. Across the room over here, this was interesting, next to the fireplace that he loved to use when he was entertaining guests, there was a pedestal here. On top of the pedestal was an Academy Award statue, an Oscar from 1939's Best Picture for Gone with the Wind. About 10 years ago, Michael paid $1.5 million for that Academy Award, and he put it on a rotating pedestal so his guests could admire it. Again, this was the living room, and it leads us into the kitchen, which is a huge kitchen. This is the size of Meredith's kitchen, but this is an eat-in kitchen. He had a round table over there by the window. He would eat breakfast and lunch over there. And then this is the main preparation kitchen area. Of course, he had a lot of people working for him, people who cooked for him. They all wear uniforms. And if you look at the floors, they're, they're beautiful in here. These were actually taken from an 18th century French chateau. It was dismantled in France, and then the pieces of it were shipped here to the United States, and craftsmen meticulously put it back together. As a matter of fact, some of those craftsmen occupied many of the rooms, the hotel rooms, in this area for for a couple of years while this place was being built. Now I'm entering really the private area of this home and stepping into Michael Jackson's private master bedroom suite. I just want to show you on the wall a security code panel so that Michael could push this to be to enter this area or anyone else who would have access to this area would push this. Michael could find out who was coming to see him. He had one of those security peepholes in the door so he could tell who was knocking or who was delivering something. You step down. Michael Jackson had a two-story bedroom. This is the main floor of it. This was the sitting area. It had couches and chairs in here, a beautiful tile fireplace that he loved to use. Again, you don't see anything on the wall here, but you can tell by the wiring on the floor here, this was the media wall here. There was a huge flat screen TV here and a stereo system. Obviously, a place was filled with, that was filled with music while, whenever Michael was here. Let's go into the bathroom, and it's a big, big master bed bathroom. Picture it with the mirrors and the towels, they're all gone now, but over in this corner there's a beautiful bathtub, a jacuzzi bathtub that overlooked a, a walled-in patio area here that had a couple of fountains and pools out here. The King of Pop needed a lot of clothes, and boy did he have a closet. This is a full cedar closet. All of his clothes would have been hanging here, the folded items on these shelves, and I want to show you something that is really somewhat special and, and interesting. If you look at these cabinets up here and then you open this cabinet here, you see another security panel, code panel here. If you push the right code on that panel, it unlocks. Now keep in mind, there would be clothing hanging here, so this would be covered. Triple locks on this wall here, and it reveals a secret section of this closet. I'm not sure what he kept in there, but clearly he didn't want many people to know that it existed. I'm going to come back out of the uh, cedar closet here for a second, and then we go up the stairs into where Michael Jackson slept. This was the sleeping loft over here. The bed was against this wall. It was a huge bed, and, and from what I understand from a friend of his who was here with me yesterday, the bedspread in this room was full sequence, just like many of the outfits that he wore in concert. And of course, uh, this was an area that was gone over by investigators, investigating that allegation of sexual misconduct that resulted in a trial back in 2005. And it was after that trial that Michael Jackson never returned to Neverland.